Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Baller here. We are now in this first game for this November 7, 2022 NBA Game Day. So for today, we got 15 games. There are a lot of games because as we all know, it will be Election Day the next day. So let's talk about this one by talking about this first game, Washington Wizards, with a record of 4 wins and 6 losses, visiting Charlotte Hornets. Uh, displaying a record of three wins and seven losses. The game, by the way, will, will be at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Right, the spread, by the way, uh, given for this game is minus three, and that's given towards the home team Charlotte Hornets um, obviously Charlotte Hornets would have the home court advantage on this in terms of momentum while Charlotte Hornets uh, they just came off that loss the other night against the Brooklyn Nets and Washington Wizards they just lost this night or tonight um, against uh, what's that against <laughs> Memphis Grizzlies there you go so both comings coming uh, both teams coming off a losses so we can just you know shrug that uh, momentum part because again both teams have been struggling lately in terms of uh, health um, Bradley Beal is this still listed as questionable because he's in health protocols and uh, Dillon Wright is actually listed as still out but for Charlotte Hornets uh, Lamelo Ball, Gordon Hayward, Cody, uh, Cody Martin uh, are all listed out while Dennis Smith is actually listed as questionable for this game in terms of health, I would have to say that uh, Washington, with, uh, Washington Wizards somehow has the advantage because, again, Bradley Beal is questionable. So there's still that possibility that he will be playing, right? And again, um, the other star that they have, uh, who is uh, Chris Stapps, is actually available. Unlike, uh, unlike Hornets, Hayward is out, Ball is out. Now Dennis Smith is actually listed as questionable. Um, the good thing about Charlotte Hornets is that they now, they now have Terry Rozier back, all right? In terms of fatigue, well, Charlotte Hornets would have the advantage of that because they just rested tonight, unlike uh, Washington Wizards when they went up against Memphis. Um, this is going to be tough because, again, both teams have been struggling, by the way. Charlotte Hornets, uh, I mean, Washington Wizards, they are ranked number 11 in the Eastern Conference, while for Charlotte Hornets, they are ranked number 13. Obviously, both teams are trying to push hard, trying to make it in the playoffs. Um, even, you know, even at this early, of course, you would want to position yourselves and not that deep, right? Minus three. I'm gonna side with Charlotte Hornets on this. Why? I got two points. Number one, they are at home. Number two, uh, they are well rested. Unlike Washington Wizards, they actually tried to come back uh, um, in that game against Memphis Grizzlies, and I'm pretty sure that it actually took a lot of them, a, a, a lot, a lot out of them. Sorry about that. Um, and again, Charlotte Hornets is just totally different. The the way Charlotte plays is is a lot of honor, a lot of energy. You know what I'm saying? Especially now that they're at home. You would see them. You would see them uh, d defend their opponents with a lot of energy. You would see them run. You know, it's just it's just kind of different. It's just kind of different if you take a look at other teams and how they play. It's just totally different whenever Charlotte Hornets are at home, All right? So even though um, Ball is out, uh, Hayward is out, I'm gonna side with Charlotte Hornets to finally taste a win because again, uh, it's just a couple of nights ago when they actually went went home losing despite the you know good. Um, uh, good tries against uh, Brooklyn Nets. So our, uh, our suggestion or my take on this one would be Charlotte Hornets minus three. Hornets minus three. Peace out. Pass love and God love.